as a father and with a special needs child, you got to do everything possible to try to help your child. Bella was an 18-month-old child who was not crawling. She was able to sit, but she wasn't wanting to put any weight through her hands. She wasn't able to move herself around on the, on the floor in a functional manner. So now that she's had this crawling device, we've got her being comfortable taking weight through her hands, which has led to so many more things. We're seeing her explore toys now, um, be engaged in the toys because she's getting the weight through her hands. She was also able to move her body from one part of the house uh, down the hall to the other part to explore and to find out where her siblings were. It was a benefit for strengthening her muscles, it was a benefit for coordination, and a benefit for the interaction with the family socially. Seeing her going from not being able to crawl and then use the device and start crawling was very satisfying. I cried tears of joy. Uh, as a physical therapist that sees children in the home through the Early Start program, it was also important for me to have a device that was easy for me to transfer and move in and out of the home. And this device um, collapses completely. It's very lightweight. I can just sling it over my shoulder so it's something that's easy for me to bring into the home and set up quickly and get the child crawling with very minimal effort. When we were working with Bella, we were very pleased with the adjustability. She started out in a sitting position and got used to the harness, which supported her chest and her pelvis. And then when she was ready and familiar with it, we were able to quickly attach the suspended part and move her into a hands and knees quadruped position and easily and quickly adjust that so that she was comfortable and she was able to crawl. I think quadruped position and crawling is a very important part of developmental gains towards uh, ambulation and core trunk. This crawling device does help and I've seen it work on children who have some delay uh, catch up to those goals. The therapeutic device has been so beneficial in the home and I think it should be used in a variety of settings and I would endorse it extremely. It would be good in the clinics, it would, could be used for children with special needs, it could be used for a child who is, is typically developing but just needs a little bit of help in practice. It has a, a multitude of ways to be utilized. From my experience, it's helped my daughter so much. And, uh, from what she's learned with it, it's priceless. A lot of these children, doctors do tell them the same thing that they told me. Don't expect them to reach certain milestones or like pretty much not to get your hopes up. And we proved it wrong. <laughs>